Welcome back everybody. It's JY Dog Channel and um just building stuff here. I got a camper, got a Jeep. Um I did make one step towards the Jeep. I found a tailgate. As you can see, that was open before, and now I've got the piece that goes in the back. So my little uh truck cab's kind of closed in. So I'm making a little bit of progress here. I realized that I'm gonna have to cut the back of the Jeep right here, and I gotta get some uh what is it, two by three steel, something like that. Come all the way back here so I can mount my leaf springs. Probably gonna use these, you know, truck leaf springs or something similar. Not only that, but it's gonna interfere with the uh, differential when it goes up and down. Decide to use this uh, old uh, utility body as a tailgate when I build a bed on it. So that's kinda just stuck there and remind me to do that. <clears throat> One good addition to uh, the JY Dog Junkyard Empire. <laughs> I found this uh, Jeep for parts. It's a 97 uh, Jeep Wrangler. Has the engine, trans. it's got a five speed stick, it's a six cylinder. And it was hit in the front right. A little bird in there. Front right, right here, and push the axle back. Don't know if that front axle, I doubt that axle's probably any good but uh, it's got a uh, five-speed tranny and a uh, it's got the uh, transfer case the engine I thought might have been good but now that I look at it and I tried to turn it over I couldn't get it to turn and it looks like the it had been smashed right here or something like it's been pushed back because I don't think that's supposed to be like that anyway it's got some good parts on it that I can transfer to the other Jeep and actually, it's got a good title on it. Um, this side over here, I tried my door on it, and it's a little tight in this area. So evidently, the body's kind of kind of tweaked a little bit. But um, the glass is broken in the windshield. Otherwise, it's got a good frame on it. And um, yeah, it's got a good uh, a good title with a VIN number, you know, that I could use. Hey, I didn't notice I had this door on it. That's interesting. And no cap. Oh well. But uh, yeah, fuel tank, which I don't have. I could probably use that. Um, got the wiring harness for it. Had some uh, half doors for it. Got those in the garage. It's got a good axle. Not, not anything I would use. Just a stock 307. So, yeah. Got some good parts on it. And uh, I'll use what I need on it. And probably let the, the rest of the stuff go at one time. So I did steal a tailgate off it. That's what you see on my Jeep. I end up repainting this when using it. I'm going to salvage some of these other parts. On a handle that I uh, salvaged off one of my old campers. I'm going to use it for the bathroom door. It seems to match pretty well. Also, if uh, 
little latch that I salvaged off an old camper. Well, I just discovered something cool that I didn't know, but this latch has got two little reliefs right there. I don't know if you can see it. And you put it in here, close the door like that, and it ends up marking where you need to drill your holes or where you need to uh, to mount this, which is a uh, pretty slick. This is not the latch I'm going to end up with, but it's one I'm going to use for right now because every time I drive this thing, this door swings around and goes all over the place so it'll do for now all right at least I have a way to keep it closed now. I did get the toilet mounted so it's firmly in there so and it got a little latch there that's not permanent temporary latch my wife wants something different and we're gonna change that um, today I think I want to get a finish on this because as you can see, some of the work was done on it and it's staining it. So I want to clean this up, sand it, and uh, I'm thinking about using this stuff right here. Glaze coat. I wish it would look like that, but I'd probably have to have to stain it or get some different wood. Anyway, thinking about trying it. I'm using one quart. This is not cheap. It's like 25 bucks, which it's okay if it comes out nice, you know, thick finish. So, um, yeah, I'm going to slap some of this on there, try to get it protected, at least, because I don't think I'm going to be doing any, uh, drilling any more holes in it or anything like that. So, I'm going to see what that comes out like. Today, I'm just going to sand it down, and tomorrow, I will probably uh, try that out and see what it looks like. I want, I want it to come out like a pecan color, you know, pretty close to like that, but uh, I doubt it is. I mean, it shows... Then pouring it on, and it changes color a little bit. Hopefully, I'll get that color out of it after I uh, I pour it on. Pour and spread seems easy enough. Hopefully, this should be enough. So, um, just, just gonna do some sanding today and see if I can get those stains out of it and uh, take the sink out. Okay, one of the things I did is uh, move the vehicle so that I have a level surface to work on because I think gravity is going to make a difference in this. Ooh. Yeah, close enough. All right, it says temperature needs to be 70 degrees or higher, so I'm going to wait on this. So I'll catch back up with you uh, when we're above 70 degrees. All right, so I decided to uh, try my hand at the uh, epoxy glaze coat, and I'm going to... Put this on here and barely have the right temperature to do this with it's like 70 degrees so might not be a good idea to be doing this now but i don't know if it's going to get colder or not so here it goes i'm going to start with uh with half Ooh. so i'm going to go down to that line right there Supposed to mix this together for six minutes. Ooh, man. I think this is going to make a lot. Okay, Google, set timer seven minutes. This might be a big mistake. Hopefully, not. It'll be a $25 mistake because that's how much this stuff costs. I think, <clears throat> wow, that is going to be way more than I thought. Thick. It's supposed to self self level. All right, I'm gonna start pouring because I don't want to wait for the stuff to harden up. It says six minutes. We're at six minutes. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, now it's starting to get a little bit warm now. Not much though. Oh no. I was really hoping it would harden up. I mean, uh, dark enough.
could give this thing a bath. I hadn't washed it since I bought it. I guess once I finish building it, I'll give it a bath. Ooh, that little heater's working good. Turn this thing off. Did that to keep the... Uh, Did that to keep the epoxy um, warm. It's a little tacky. Ah, right, stay outside. Still a little tacky, but got a nice finish on it. Pretty happy with it. Got a few little imperfections and little waves down there, but pfft, not a bad finish for twelve dollars. I think I got one little bug in there, but I can live with that. The uh, edge came out really nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It takes 72 hours to harden, so uh, I'm going to leave everything, you know, unattached for right now. And uh, I'm going to go order some tile backsplash that stick on stuff, I guess. And, hey, uh, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.